Welcome back to question three in this series where we find the equilibrium concentrations from initial concentrations and the equilibrium constant. This time the question reads, consider the reaction below. A reaction mixture at 100 degrees Celsius initially contains a concentration of NO2 of 0 0.100 molar. Find the equilibrium concentrations of NO2 and the N2O4 at this temperature. The first thing that I want to do is create an ice table. So I'll rewrite this reaction as N2O4, and that yields, in both ways, two molecules of NO2. An ice table organizes the information for the initial change and in equilibrium concentration. So I, C, E. And they've already given us some information. They've told us that the concentration of NO2 is 0 0.100. That's the initial concentration. So I'll write that down. And the initial concentration of N2O4 will be zero because we're assuming we're starting here and we're producing this. Now I want to see which direction this reaction will take place. So I'll try to find the reaction quotient represented by the letter Q. And to find this, you look at the initial concentrations. So the products, the concentration, 0 0.100 raised to the power of two because of the coefficient two divided by the concentration of N2O4, your reactant, and that's zero. Now when you divide something by zero, you get an error. So we look at this chart, and specifically this part tells us what happens. The reaction is going to move backwards. So it's going to shift to the left. Now that we figured that out, we can move on to the next step. I don't know the change of concentration of either of these molecules. So you can set either of them as X, and then create a ratio with the other molecule to find its change in concentration. Now we have one molecule of N2O4 to two molecules of NO2. This means that we have a coefficient here of 2x, and since we're comparing reactants to products, you have to change the sign. So it was positive initially, it becomes negative here. Now by all means, I could have placed x here initially and compared it to the reactant and I would have gotten negative here with the coefficient of one over two. Whichever mode you choose, you'll end up with the same answer anyway at the end. Now to find E, we add the initial and the change. Zero plus X is zero, and 0 0.100 plus negative two X is negative two X plus 0 0.100. So I added these together and I get this expression. Now I'll create the equilibrium expression that's represented by KC and I have the concentration of NO2 raised to the power of 2 over the concentration of N2O4 and that's being raised to the power of 1 because there's a coefficient of 1 but we don't need to show it. We've been given KC it's 0 0.36 and we already found the expression for NO2 its equilibrium concentration is represented as negative 2x plus 0 0.100, that's being raised to the power of 2, over x, the concentration of N2O4. Now comes the math part. We need to solve for x. The first thing that I will do is multiply both sides by x. And that will cancel out the x on the right side, leaving us with 36, or 0 decimal 36 x, is equal to what's at the top here. Negative 2x plus 0 0.100, and I'll double that because it's being raised to the power of two. Now, I'll expand the right side, and if I expand it correctly, I have negative 2x times negative 2x, that's positive 4x squared. Negative 2x times this number gives us negative 0 0.200x, and then moving on to this number, multiply that by negative 2x, it's the same thing, and 0 0.100 times 0 0.100 gives us 0 0.0100, so positive 0 0.0100. The left side of this equation stays the way it is. Okay, now we have to gather up all like terms. I'll bring this term over, we get 4x squared, and we can combine this term, which is now negative because we brought it over, with this one and that one. So let's use our calculator. 
we have negative 0.2 minus 0.2 minus 0.36. That gives us negative 0.76x. And finally, we have this constant, which I'll place at the very end. Now we have to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula looks like this, and there's a reason why we're using the quadratic formula. It's because this is a second degree equation. We have x to the power of two. We have minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus four ac all over two a. Let's substitute our values into here. So this is going to be a, b, and c. Now all of this is b because it's negative. Don't forget that. We have negative, bracket negative, 0 0.76 plus minus, again, negative 0 0.76. We square that, minus 4 times 4, our a and our c is 0 0.0100. All of that is being square rooted over 2 times 4. Now with quadratic equations, there's always the possibility, as discussed in previous videos, that you can get two solutions. And it looks like we are going to get two solutions here. I'm going to evaluate the radicand, which is the part underneath this square root. We'll raise that to the power of two. Minus four times four times 0 0.01. And then we square root that, where we get 0 0.01. 6462. So I'll just keep that on the screen for a second. I'll evaluate this part. That becomes positive plus minus 0 0.6462. And that's all being divided by 8. This means we get two answers, two x values. And we have to determine which one is the correct one. Both of them are not correct. So 0 0.76 plus the answer that we just found divided by 8 gives us 0 0.1757. So that's one of our x's. Our other x, again, minus 0 0.6462 divided by 8. And this time we get 0 0.014. So how do we determine which one of these is correct? Well, we go back to our ice table. And the one that's correct is the one that will give us a positive output here and a positive output here. So both of these will give you a positive output here. So our main focus now is this. Let me substitute 0 0.1757. So negative 2 times 0 0.1757 plus 0.1 gives us a negative output. So this can't be our x value. What about that one? So negative 2, again, times 0 0.01422 plus 0 0.1. And that gives us a positive output. And that's the number right there. Let me write that down. So the number that I just calculated actually represents the equilibrium concentration. And we need this to three significant figures, which we will put in a moment. X, of course, is the number itself. So let me write that down. 0 0.0142. This right here represents the equilibrium concentration in molars for N2O4. And this right here, to three significant figures, that should be a 6, and that should be discarded, is the concentration of NO2 at 100 degrees Celsius. If you'd like to see the answer to question 4, Leave a comment below, and if you're having trouble with it, I'll personally make a solution for question four for you. We'll see you soon.